All right guys, so this isn't really a question, but this is a statement that I got emailed from somebody called Curtis who said, and, and there are lots of people who say the same thing. They say, I already lose a dream naturally. I lose a dream without trying. And it's sort of like a, a statement that people will say, like a throwaway statement where they'll say, I can already do that. I don't need any help. I don't need to learn anything. I don't need to have any more information about lucid dreaming because I can already do it. And this is something that I really want to bust open for you guys because I see a lot of people saying this or thinking this. And in my opinion, it's a sort of dangerous way of thinking about anything, really. You should never think about any, uh, any skill, any topic or anything that you might have information on. You should never think, oh, I've done that. I know all there is to know about that. Because with almost anything, there's always something more to learn. There's always something else, something you could improve on whether it's a technique or just the way you do things, or whether it's just experience and having the knowledge that there is more to learn. Especially with lucid dreaming, there is always, there is always more to learn. There is, you're never finished at lucid dreaming. You're never an expert. Although I have in the past called myself an expert lucid dreamer, what that really means is that I know a lot more than average. It doesn't mean that I've mastered it because nobody can. It doesn't mean that I know everything about it because that's impossible. It just means that I know a lot more than average. And, you know, it's, it's a terminology that I use because that's the, that's the words people understand. When you say you're an expert in something, people think, oh, okay, he knows or she knows a lot about that topic, so I'm going to listen to them. But really, you can never master lucid dreaming. There is no qualification in lucid dreaming. And even if there were, even if you attained that qualification, that doesn't mean anything, really. It doesn't mean that you... It doesn't mean... And it wouldn't mean that you've mastered it and you know everything about it, because you can't. It, it's such a subjective thing, and especially when you start messing with your subconscious mind and with dreams and interpretations and, and uh, you know, all of that inward stuff, you can't master it because it's a constant journey. It constantly evolves and, and changes. You can't master lucid dreaming. So what should you do then if you're one of those people who thinks, I can already lucid dream, I don't need to learn anything else? Or well, firstly, understand or try and understand that you, what you're experiencing, okay, what you think is lucid dreaming and what is everything there is to know, is a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is all of the potential possibilities and outcomes that you could have with lucid dreaming. You will never experience all of it. And it's really dangerous and, and sort of you're holding yourself back if you think that the tiny experiences that you've had and I don't mean this in a way that, like, I'm, I'm not trying to put them down or say they're not important. They are important. But compared to what you could experience, they are tiny. And you've only really scratched the surface of what you could do with lucid dreaming. No matter who you are, even if you're a, a lucid dreaming YouTuber or, you know, me or anyone, anyone who says that they know a lot about lucid dreaming, you, you've never, you've pretty much scratched the surface. There's always a lot more to learn. It's a very profound area of, of uh, it's a very profound topic, and there's always lots. And it's really fascinating to me how much there is to learn because it's a constant journey. But for those of you who, going back to my original point, who say I've completed lucid dreaming, there's nothing else to learn. Try and understand that there is a lot more to learn. You just haven't really opened your mind to those possibilities. You might have thought that flying or having sex or anything else like that is all there is to experience in lucid dreams. That's just not true. Um, I wrote a book actually called 100 Things to Do in Lucid Dreams and I feel like even those things, even those 100 things, is only a tiny drop in the ocean compared to what you could experience. It's just a tiny fraction of it. But that being said, those 100 things are a leap above what most people think is completed lucid dreaming. When, when people say they've mastered or you know, they, they can already lucid dream, those people haven't likely haven't experienced the hundred things I wrote about in my book. And even if you've experienced those hundred things, there's a thousand other things that you could experience. And it, the list goes on and on, guys. It just is perpetual. So where am I going with this? Well, obviously I've spent a lot of time writing and creating several products on advanced lucid dreaming. So superpowers, you know, focused on superhuman abilities in a lucid dream. This is an ebook I have on my website, on, on Amazon, on Kindle. Um, I've also created a Udemy course with an advanced section in it explaining things like time warping, teleporting, and you know the mindset that is required for advanced lucid dreaming. So 
if you feel like you've completed this stuff and you've n learned all there is to learn, I would highly encourage you to, even out of curiosity or to try and prove me wrong, go through these things. Check out the Lucid Super Superpowers book or the Udemy course. But not just that, just, you know, experience other people's courses as well. Like, there are loads of lucid dreaming courses and, and books out there. Absorb all the information you can. And then, if you feel like you've done that, then try and challenge yourself with various advanced challenges. I've made other videos about this, you can read on my blog. Um, but more than anything, just try and do things that you've not done before. If you always lucid dream, and you're a natural lucid dreamer, you always fly around, you always avoid nightmares, that's perfect, right? But why don't you try something new? Why don't you try and ask the dream to show you something surprising? Why don't you try and teleport into a, an ant colony or something? Like, just do something different and just see where it takes you because it will always surprise you in terms of what it can show you as a person. Your subconscious mind is a very powerful thing. Anyway, this isn't meant to be a promotion for my ebooks, although it might be interpreted as that. I'm just trying to say that there is always more out there to experience. If you feel like you've completed lucid dreaming, in my opinion, you haven't, and there's a lot more to do. Um, but it shouldn't feel like a chore or work, you know, it should feel like a curious fascination. You should be interested in what could be out there, as opposed to being happy with what you already can do. Done.